Today on the channel, we keep it in the family like a young Anthrax with the DC McFarlane Toys Robin Batman Nightwing Superpowers line. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another DC Superpowers unboxing and review from McFarlane Toys. And now in today's video, we got Batman, we got Robin, and we got Nightwing as we're keeping it in the Batman family here today. But for all your DC Superpower needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. And of course, the DC Superpowers line, we've unboxed these a few times between both of my YouTube channels. Remember to subscribe to both channels now. And we got some new DC ones here today. Now, we do know these are no longer always Walmart exclusives. Walmart's still going to have some exclusives, but not all of them are exclusives. But Nightwing, I believe, was a Walmart exclusive. As you can see, I do got a Walmart sticker on him. I got him for $3. And Robin and Batman, I actually picked up at the Mall of America. Beautiful this time of year, up there in Minneapolis area. Picked these up at the GameStop. Couldn't believe it. I was at GameStop, I don't know, a couple months ago when I was at the Mall of America. And they actually had something new. $9.99 a piece was a heck of a deal. I had my $5 rewards points, had a $5 coupon, and then they had some kind of like pro member sale. Anyways, long story short, I basically it was buy one, get one free is what it ended up being. So I said, you know what? I'm in on that. I need a Batman, need a Robin in the set. Hopefully some improvements over the last Batman, which really went south if you saw that on the original YouTube channel. Check out that one if you want to see a meltdown. As I uh, was not very pleased with that Batman, as we do know. But I did pick these two up. Unfortunately, the cards got a little wet in the log ride. Took the kids on the log ride there. Things went pretty south. Got some water on these figures. But good thing I'm opening them up anyways. It is what it is. But without further ado, of course, we're going to do this unboxing. Like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's dive into old Batman here. The old Cape Crusader. Looking good. Looking old school throwback. Of course, when I think of Batman in my head, this is what I think of. The classic Batman logo up there. Classic Superpowers logo. DC logo. Big bubble window there, McFarlane Toys, and a glamour shot there. Of course, got the cross cell on the back, very old school like. Got the Batmobile, I'm definitely going to pick up that Batmobile. And then you got the uh, blurb over there, let's see what it says about our old friend, the old Batman. As a child, Bruce Wayne watched as his parents were brutally killed in Gotham City's crime alley. Traumatized by their deaths, he devoted his life to becoming the world's greatest weapon against crime. The Batman, he sure did. Whoa, and we're losing stuff right, just left, right, and center, just like the game. See you later, goodbye. It's just a little uh, plastic piece. I don't know what that's all about in there, but it is what it is. See you later, right off the screen. Watch out, watch out. And thankfully, once again, that's where I melted down on the first go around. There is nothing through the cape. McFarlane learned, uh, learned their lesson right there. No cape issues, and all oh, the capes removable as well. Pull that cape through. See you later. Goodbye. And this cape, feeling those old school Kenner superpower vibes right here. You got the little collar that's kind of like hard and it kind of connects there. Definitely old school feel. I am definitely here for this. Beautiful soft goods cape. You know me, I love a soft goods cape. Just like a Lando Calrissian really at the end of the day. Looking good here in blue. Got the very Batman-like cape going on. I am here for this. So far, playing a lot of hits here. Playing a lot of nostalgia hits with this one. Then you get Batman out, and like I said, this is what I think of when I think of Batman. We all have different incarnations of what we think of. I think of this, my childhood, very early childhood toy having these figures. Love kind of the whitish gray color. Love the blue with the yellow. A little bit of black mixed in. Playing all my Batman hits right here. I am definitely here for that. We got holes in the bottom of the feet, which is always good to see. I guess articulation-wise, arms do go around. No waist, but you do get the legs up. Bend at the knee, very tight bend at the knee. No ankles, anything like that, but you do get the head side to side. Beautiful head on this Batman. Got the old bat ears there. Got a very uh, chiseled jaw going on with a stoic expression as we're used to with Batman. Classic Batman logo in the middle there with the yellow and black attack. Yellow belt. Just all of my Batman hits being played right here. I am definitely here for this Batman. 
Kate blocks in really good. This is going to go great with my old school Hall of Justice that we will unbox on the channel. This will fit perfectly in there. And of course, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save 10% with your ringside stands. Make sure you get the Mattel stands, but look at that. This is great. This is what I wanted this line. If this was the first figure I unboxed from this line, we could be seeing a whole different thing. I'd probably be all in and completionist on this line if that was the case. But definitely, definitely this Batman, out of all the ones I've unboxed so far, is my favorite figure I have had. So definitely can't do any better than this Batman. Absolutely do love this one. And now you got to get the yin and the yang. You got to get old Dick Grayson, the old boy wonder, old Robin. Superpowers, Robin, like I said, got a little wet on the log ride up here, unfortunately. DC, McFarland Toys, Big Bubble Window, all the hits being played. Cross sell over there, of course. And then, of course, you also get the blurb on him. See what it says about our old friend, Robin. Growing up in Gotham City can be complicated, especially when you're a kid who's obsessed with Batman and Robin. For Tim Drake, this isn't Dick Grayson. I was tricked. I was tricked. Uh, it is Tim Drake. Learning everything about his favorite superheroes eventually led him down the path of becoming one himself after he deduced the identities of Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson. And we recently unboxed the Tim Drake DC Multiverse figure on the other YouTube channel. There's two now. Yes, it's true. We unboxed that one over there, and it was the same copyright. So getting the most out of your molds, getting the most out of your copyright is what we're doing here today. Once again, there's that little plastic piece. See you later off the screen. See you later over there. See you later over there. A lot of see you laters for this one, that's for sure. There he is, Plastic Prison. Man, I was thinking this was Dick Grayson, not Tim Drake, but I guess I'm okay with it. It still looks like a classic Robin. See you later, goodbye. Once again, same cape gimmick. It's the same type of feel of the cape, the cloth. Got the same hook and fasten around the neck. I am here for this for Kenner Superpower style figures, and that's what we're dealing with right here. Tim Drake, Robin, I guess out of the package here, now that I really look at it, he does got more of that green and red of Tim Tim Drake era uh, definitely going on here. Articulation can be the exact same as Batman, as we know. The articulation is the same on all of these. He's got his little Lone Ranger mask going on in green, got the white eye, got a little bit of a smile on him. He's a little happy, and he's got a fist of fury, too, just in case things go down, he's ready to go. Got that Tim Drake Robin logo on his chest, got some buttons up there, got the big yellow belt. And then he's got the red and green attack. He's ready for Christmas or he's ready to fight crime. Either or, choose your own adventure at the end of the day. Cape locks on there perfectly. Love, love, love that. And then, of course, fits on. Yes, he does. Fits on a ringside collectible stand perfectly right there. So old Robin getting the job done, looking good. Now we turn our attention. We're going to finish it off here. We're going to finish it off with old Nightwing. Definitely an interesting one, one that wasn't involved in the Superpowers days. So this is a little bit new uh, new life in this line in some ways. Superpowers, $3 at Walmart, Glamour Shot, Big Bubble Window, DC Logo, McFarlane Window, of course on the back. The true Dick Grayson, I guess, is right here. Got the blur, we got the cross sell, all the fun. Let's see what it says about old Dick Grayson. Dick Grayson became his crime-fighting career as the original Robin, Batman's protege and crime-fighting partner. An expert acrobat and skilled fighter, Dick eventually left the nest and ventured out on his own as a new hero called Nightwing. What a dick. Dick Grayson, that is, uh, at the end of the day. No doubt about it. But, of course, packaging. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison. He's got his two batons. We get some accessories with this one. I'm definitely here for that. Love a little weapon from time to time. Good old Dick Grayson. See you later, Nightwing. Packaging, and it is definitely Nightwing out of the package. Very simple figure, all in black with a little bit of blue highlights. Got a very cool bandito mask against that black hair. All day long, looking like Nightwing, uh, Dick Grayson version. Really jacked up. He's definitely been hitting the gym. There's no doubt about it. Of course, articulation can be the same as these bad boys. Not a lot of extra. Would love some bendability in the elbow, but I'm sure that would give a little extra cost to him, as we do know. Got two gripping hands here down for the weapons, of course. Uh, but definitely looks like Nightwing. Nightwing is a good character. It's a known character. It's just not one I had in my superpowers collection back in the day, because I don't believe it ever existed. But any line can't just have the old hits. you got to add on some new characters, and we're seeing McFarlane do that from time to time. Of course, you get these two batons, basically just two little plastic sticks, but they definitely work out very well. They fit right in there. Definitely, definitely here for that. So he looks pretty good as far as things are considered here. No cape issues, nothing like that. And he does fit on a ringside collectible stand. Make sure you get the Mattel stand for old Mr. Nightwing right there. So there it is, a little Batman Family DC Superpowers unboxing. An interesting line right here. Really, really like this Batman. This is probably my favorite one so far. Just a beautiful, beautiful figure. Nightwing, it is what it is. Dick Grayson 
is what it is as well. So definitely an interesting three pack of figures here. And this line's turning me around a little bit is what they're doing. As I did say, I got a Hall of Justice. I'm gonna put these guys with that old school Hall of Justice, have a little bit of a representation of my superpowers fandom as a little kid. So there it is, a little McFarlane superpowers unboxing. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Made it this far, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you on Patreon, including early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, you name it. It's over on Patreon, and it truly is the best way to support this YouTube channel. You can also support the channel at ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget social media, Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram and on Threads. So for superpowers, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.